And now a new newly released video from the U.S. Department of Defense shows Air Force personnel landing in Kabul, Afghanistan earlier this week amid ongoing efforts to evacuate Americans and Afghan allies of the U.S. The Pentagon says approximately 5,700 people have been evacuated out of Afghanistan in the last 24 hours. However, flights are temporarily on hold because the processing facilities in Qatar are overwhelmed. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has the details. President Biden is meeting with his national security team this morning before delivering remarks on Afghanistan this afternoon. It's still a perilous environment, um, and all I can tell you is that uh, we're going to do everything that we can uh, to make sure that uh, we can protect our force, protect the people that we're trying to move on to the airport, and protect their movement out of Kabul. Tens of thousands of desperate Afghans are waiting to get out of the country. The scene outside the airport remains chaotic. CBS News has learned flights out of Kabul have been temporarily paused as the administration works to open a new processing facility in Bahrain. The facility in Qatar is now at capacity. We're sending additional consular officers uh, to both Qatar and Kuwait to help uh, with this uh, processing. Among those showing up in Qatar are unaccompanied minors. This video from earlier in the week shows a man handing a baby over a wall to U.S. forces manning the airport. Critics say the Biden administration should have been better prepared to evacuate Americans and Afghan allies when it announced the withdrawal of U.S. forces. The Wall Street Journal published a State Department memo from July 13th in which diplomats warned the Afghan government could collapse after the U.S. troop withdrawal, and they urged the department to start pulling Americans out of the country before the troops were gone. If we leave any Americans behind, if we leave thousands of those Afghans who fought along our side behind bravely, Joe Biden deserves to be impeached. Members of Congress are getting an unclassified briefing on Afghanistan today. Lawmakers say they will hold hearings looking into what went wrong. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House.